Okay. We've got some news. And we've got some thoughts. So, let's jump into the article first. And then I'm going to give my opinion as to what the fuck Marvel should do with this character. So, it was reported in Deadline that Marvel Studios' Blade removed from 2025 release schedule. Now, I'd like to remind you all that Blade was initially announced, I believe, back in 2019. Good thing that it's up here. The reboot of the famed Wesley Snipes Marvel movie was first introduced at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019. That is five years ago, uh, with Mahershala Ali starring. It lost two of its directors in uh, fall of 2022, which was Basim Tariq and then Ian uh, Demange. Now, here's the thing. Um, I believe that the early setbacks for Blade aren't fully Marvel's fault. Uh, announced in 2019, that was what, tail end of COVID? Or was that like a little bit before COVID? God, COVID felt as though it was 20 years ago, but it was within the last five years. Uh, then you had the writer's strike, which delayed it even more in 2022. But I believe Marvel is overthinking Blade. Because it's, it's super simple. We want Blade killing vampires. That's it. Nothing else. Blade. R-rated movie, killing vampires. It's a simple formula. But for whatever reason, Marvel has been attempting to reinvent the secret sauce, where I believe the last uh, delays, which led to a major rewrite, which led to the person who I believe was writing it at the time leaving, was the movie not even really involving Blade, but it involving his more obscure daughter from the comic books that I would say probably 93% of people uh, who are familiar with the Blade character isn't even aware that she exists. And like this whole girl power trip with Blade showing up every once in a while and then being there for the most part in the final act. Ain't nobody want no movie like that. We want... The Vampire Hunter, the Daywalker. We want the Blade character that we were familiar with in regards to Wesley Snipes, where the vampires are out there doing some nefarious shit, and Blade's the only one who can show up and put them down. The only thing difference between the, the, the Wesley Snipe Blade film and the Blade film that we were essentially getting was that it was going to be set to the backdrop of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's going to be set to the backdrop of the MCU. I said this a long, long time ago in the last time that the film was delayed. It is not that difficult. You had a really, really good setup at the end of Eternals with Dane Whitman and the, and the Ebony Blade. You could have made it where Blade shows up to talk down Dane. Dane touches the sword anyway. And he either gets sent into the past where his, his ancestor or his uncle teams up with Blade to probably defeat Dracula. I know that uh, Mia Goff was tied to this playing uh, Lilith in the movie. With how long this movie has been delayed, who knows if she, she's even still attached to this. Who knows if Lilith is even still the main character that they're going to have to go up against in this film. Who knows? I sure as shit don't know. Because of all of the various rewrites and all of the negative press that you've essentially heard. And the fact that Mahershala Ali is probably like one foot out the door to moving on to go do other things. Because this series is just taking way too fucking long. It's the overthinking. Marvel is trying to reinvent the wheel in some way, shape, or form. You don't have to. The formula for Blade is easy. Dope villain. Dope soundtrack. R-rated, blood and guts. That's it. Those are the three. Those are the three pillars you got to make sure are inside of your film. Trying to make the Blade film have some type of message that's going to inspire some type of minority group or a certain. No, 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 no. You don't need all that. You got other films that you can do that in. You want to do the whole Black Girl Magic thing? Iron Heart. It's right over there. You want to go the whole kumbaya, oorah, military thing? 
Armor Wars. It's right over there, which is another discussion in and of itself because that may also be fucking canceled. Blade is simple. It's straightforward. Funny enough, Wesley Snipes saying that there has only ever been one blade and there's only ever going to be one blade may actually end up being the fucking case in regards to this 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 this, this whole character where he may have me end up being the only person to ever play this character going forward with it just being stuck in developmental hell for the foreseeable future. Uh, I believe somebody had pointed out a really good person who could probably direct this Blade film. What film was it that somebody had suggested? It was on the tip of my tongue. Somebody had suggested this really, really dope director who could handle Blade and the vampires and things along those lines because he's done this before. I completely forget who he is. But if if you remember someone or if you have a suggestion about who you think should be the person directing the film or who should be the person writing the film, comment down below. Because at this point in time, this is honestly getting ridiculous. Like, I wouldn't be upset if Mahershala Ali just said fuck it and he left. Because now you're playing with me. Five years? Five years going on six? Delayed indefinitely, so it's not coming out in 2025. So at the earliest, we might be looking at tail end of 2026, middle of 2077 for the earliest, whereas the latest would be probably what? 2028, 20, 2029? 20, at that point in time, when Secret Wars? Hold on now. Wait a minute. Avengers Secret Wars. Secret Wars is in 2027. So will the Blade film be before Secret Wars or will it be after Secret Wars? Will it be like in 2028? So that would make it so that Mahershala Ali has been sitting waiting for a Blade script for nine years before we probably actually do get a Blade film. How old? How old is Mahershala Ali? Mahershala Ali is currently 50. He is currently 50 which means we probably won't see him in the role of Blade until he is probably 54, damn near pushing 55. Would he even want to actually go and get himself in shape to play the character in another five years? I fucking, I fucking wouldn't want to. Fuck that. You guys have me waiting for damn near an entire decade to play this character, and then not only are you playing games with me, you're playing games with the script, where I wasn't even going to be in 70% of the movie. I was going to be in 30% of the movie. I'm the star. I'm the main attraction. I'm the person that you in, that you introduced at Comic-Con 2019 to be playing Blade. Why would I take a backseat in my own film? Horrible. Absolutely horrible mess. And to be quite honest, I will not be upset in any way, shape, or form if he just washed his hands of it and he went on to go and do other things. He's been doing other things behind the scenes this entire time. I think his next film is... What's his next film that he's got coming out? His next film coming out is uh, The Plot. No, The Plot? No, that's on TV. Oh, no, Jurassic Park, Re uh, Jurassic World Rebirth. And then he's going to be the prowler in Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. Of course, he's coming back for that as well. And then he's got another film called Wildwood. But would I want to come back? Not really. I, I think that this last... This last announcement that once again we're going on just an indefinite hiatus again after the the two directors left, after the writer's strike, after the constant rewrites, uh, after the rewrite that had me be the secondary character in my own film, uh, then the director and the movie going on hiatus again. That's too much stress. I I wouldn't I wouldn't feel like dealing with that in uh, any way, shape, or form. But let me know what you guys think about this whole blade debacle situation. Comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.